So there's this library called Tier PC y'all might have heard of, probably from my dozens of YouTube videos about it, or the dozens of other YouTubers now talking about it, or the drama on Twitter, or the Tier PC versus GraphQL, or it, it just seems like everyone's talking about Tier PC now. Really proud of that. I've been using Tier PC now for almost a year and a half, and it has been an incredible experience. I'm really proud to have been early on Tier PC and one of the first to push it because it just made things simpler. It's one of those rare technologies where once it clicks, it's like, oh man, things can be that easy. I don't know why I kept overcomplicating it. You'll have an initial reaction, the same way we all did to Tailwind, where it's like, oh, that that's too simple. That can't be right. That's going to get messy and dirty and not scale and not work for real businesses. Well, I'm here to tell you, after a year and a half of shipping TRPC, it is more than production ready. It has made our production better. And man, it has been a great experience to use. Type safety and TRPC are really great and they get you super far. Every once in a while, you're using some third-party library or something just goes wrong in the front end. And that's why I'm really excited to tell you about today's sponsor, Highlight.io. Highlight is a monitoring platform for your front end and your back end that just open sourced. If you're using TRPC, they actually provide TRPC bindings that directly attach to it. So if something goes wrong with a query, you have the exact TRPC query with all the debug information are directly there. They even have a guide on how to set it up. These guys really understand the technologies that we're building with. Highly recommend checking them out if you haven't yet. Link in the description. I set up TRPC in the code base for ping. We had a bunch of individual endpoints in here where we had a bunch of source slash pages slash API type functions. And you can see here that I deleted a ton of them. Oh, this one's fun because this was the client side. So for each thing, I made a separate client and server like matching pair. So on the server side, we would have the API like endpoint and on the client side, we'd have the fetch call to that formatted correctly. And I've built all of these reusable hooks. And then on the back end, I had all of these APIs that theoretically perfectly matched, but if I ever changed the type or the shape on either side, the other side wouldn't see that same change. So all of these have a ton of functionality baked in. The reason I'm showing you guys this PR is I made all of these changes a year and a half ago, and most of these files in our code base haven't needed to change since. It became so much faster for us to iterate, implement, fix bugs, handle problems, and just move. I was considering going all in on GraphQL, but didn't want to invest the time and effort into doing that, having done it at Twitch. Crazy to see that this proposal is something I wrote two years ago now for a code gen hook where in your front end code, you would use the hook use backend. You would write backend code inside of it. And then at compile time, it would spit out a traditional React use query with a generated fetch call. And it would spit out a generated endpoint on the next API side so it could actually have access to that data. The goal here was to show how quickly you'd be able to stub out backend calls by writing them inside of your front end code. And then a compiler would throw that in the backend for you. And theoretically, in this example, I actually have it do GSSP to fetch all of the things that you've written code for for that route. That was ambitious to say the least, but uh, this was my my general dumb idea for how you could do this. I showed this to Tanner Lindsley, who immediately said, oh, that's cool. Have you checked out TRPC and Blitz? So I eventually went and did, and that's how we ended up here. So that was July. And then just two months later, I am now moving all of my company's code over to one of those two libraries. And man... It's one of the best decisions I ever made. Since then, TRPC has gone hilariously far. We've seen adoption levels that are surreal. I show them in a few other videos. I, TRPC's NPM installs are beating out remixes as of late. On top of that, we started Create T3 app, which y'all might have seen us talk about here a few times now. If you haven't already started, I'll put a link in the description so you can do that. Create T3 app is a way to spin up a boilerplate that has best practice for everything from how you manage auth inside of TRPC to connecting Prisma properly, getting Tailwind set up with the right prettier config. You pick which parts you want. So you have a checkbox for basically everything here. You pick, do I want or don't want these things? Except for TypeScript and Next, those are mandatory. But then you connect all the parts and we show you the best practice of how to use these things together. And with something like TRPC, it is magical how fast you can move when you have a good setup. Having your auth built into the context, so it's literally ctx.auth user and you have the user information there having prisma contained within the trpc like ecosystem having your full stack environment set up in a way where it auto completes the entire development flow is surreal and honestly i wish every developer had the opportunity to experience dx this good
it, it has changed how I develop fundamentally having a library that removes so many dimensions of problems in my development experience. I didn't think going in, I was going to even like this library. It was an experiment. But man, once it clicked and once I realized I can return something on my back end and then call it on my front end and there is no bullshit between those things, God, my experience has never been better. Check it out if you haven't. Check out Create T3 app if you haven't. Definitely check out their docs as well. There are also some really good tutorials out on YouTube right now. I might finally cave and make one soon. Let me know in the comments if you think I should. Also, I have a video here. Check that out if you haven't yet. Should be a pretty good one. That's why you put it there.